Hola guys. Happy Sunday again. I got a late start to my running around. I'm supposed to be finishing my... How dare you honk at me in a construction lane? Why don't you slow down, jackass? Anywho, um, I'm supposed to be finishing up. Ooh, sun all up in y'all's face. I'm supposed to be finishing up my Christmas shopping today, and I got a late start. Um, and I have no plan. I hate leaving the house like this, all discombobulated, because I really don't know where the heck I'm going first. I really don't know where I need to be going. I just know I need Christmas wrap. I need to get some gift boxes, bigger boxes, like for um, clothing, because I got little dudes some really cool hoodies and stuff. Um, I want to make chili tonight. I've been craving homemade chili. Well, not really homemade chili, like the four or five hour chili. I'm talking about the half hour chili that you put together out of a little pack and the little spice pack and stuff. I'm just craving something warm and goody licious um and i'm tempted honestly to go thrifting but it's already it's it's 157 and i know me at the thrift stores and little dude will be home in a few hours and i just got a late start um but i did feel the need to get out of the house like i said i i think the heaviness is within me so I think the house is, where am I going? Oh, I gotta go order my mom's tamales. Okay, um, sorry about the, the steering wheel guys, but yeah, I feel, I, oh, I'm sorry about the sun. Maybe I shouldn't even be on here right now. Sorry. Um, but uh, we won't be on this little strip of road for too, too long. Um, um, gotta go to order my mom's tamales. Go find some gift boxes and wrapping paper. A little bit more shopping for my mom. Um, I'm telling you, the things she wanted were so quirky. I want to kind of like have some fill-in gifts. Um, I know she likes clothes, so I'm going to put together a couple little outfits for her. Um, and she loves to eat, so I'm ordering her tamales right now. She likes pan de polvo. Those are the little, I don't know what you call those in English. Um... What are pan de polvo in English, guys? It's the little uh, shortbread with the, with the sugar uh, and cinnamon on top. I don't know what, meltaways? I don't know what the heck they're called in English. Uh, she loves her eggnog and she loves her fruitcake. So I'm just going to make a nice, yummy uh, food basket for her on top of her little outfits and stuff. But yeah, I have no plan. I left the house completely discombobulated, as you all can kind of friggin' tell. I don't know what stores I'm going to. I don't know what uh cities i'm driving into to get any of this done and i haven't eaten which is really stupid y'all know how i do i go without eating like an idiot um and i've been up since nine o'clock and it's two o'clock and i've had a green tea that's all i've had where am i going i think i can get to it this way um but anywho if i have anything interesting uh if i find anything interesting out there to video for you guys i will Hola, buenos días. ¿Están tomando órdenes para los tamales todavía? No, estamos haciendo órdenes que no hay personas para trabajar. Oh, so este año los que hacen los es que los que hacen. Ok, sí, ok. Sí, los que van a venir es muy okay. temprano porque ya ve que no se puede. Ya. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Well, that was uneventful. Uh, apparently, they are understaffed, so they are not taking orders for tamales this year, and this is our favorite spot for tamales. Um, it used to be Terry's grocery store, but it was bought out by Cash Saver, but the kitchen in the back is still being ran by the same people, and oh my gosh, when I tell you guys they have the best tamales, I'm not lying to you. So we've been ordering them here for years, so now I have to find another tamale haunt because we have to have tamales. We have to. So um, I got to figure that out. I was able to purchase two dozen of pork tamales right now, which is what they have. And I'm surprised they had them this late in the day because they disappear as soon as they make them. But I went ahead and picked up two uh, dozen tamales and I'm going to let them cool completely and then I'm going to freeze them. I mean, if that's the only option, I'm hoping that these awesome tamales taste just as good reheated um i looked for the pan de polvo other uh, another name for them i think are ojarascas in spanish but like i said i still don't know what the heck they're called in um 
What's my gas look like? I'm sitting here idling. Uh, I don't know what they're called in English. But anywho, um, I already know the store that I go to for the little pan de polvos anyway. Um, but I'm probably not going to pick those up until on the way home from work because that's in Oak Cliff. And I don't, I still don't know if I'm going to go thrifting or not. So if I go thrifting, I'll pick them up since I thrift in Oak Cliff. But if not, uh, anywho. But I'm getting real confused and discombobulated because I haven't eaten. The more I walked around, I started getting really woozy and shaky. And I don't want to stop and eat anywhere. So I grabbed um, a lychee uh, juice and a pineapple juice from Kui, the brand. I love these. I don't know which one I want, though. Uh, I think I want the pineapple one for the tartness of it. But I'm going to sit here and sip on this for a little bit because you guys, I was making such a mess. I was getting all confused and funny feeling and I made a mess at the counter I accidentally knocked down a box of um candy bars uh and some nice man helped me pick them up it's just I'm a little off right now so I'm gonna sit here and drink my jugo de piña recién exprimido meaning fresh squeezed and uh, I'm steady looking at the Popeyes across the street and my belly's like you can stop you can stop and have some Popeyes but oh these are so good guys Ooh, this is going to boost me up just enough to get done what I got to get done. So next, um, I'm going to go to the mall and sneak a peek -a there for my mommy real quick. I know the stores I want to go into. And then I'm going to go to um, Ross because I want to sneak a peek -a at the perfumes for my sister-in-law. Uh, and there's such a good bargain there. And then I got to hit a wine store for my brother and my sister-in-law as a couple's gift. My brother wants food. <laughs> He's so my mom. Uh, yeah, I just got things, little things to run around and pick up today. And then I'm gonna end up at Dollar Tree for my wrapping paper and stuff. But I'm gonna sit here and get right. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, it is 3.57 and I could use one right now, a 3.57. Because I have seen the butts of so many people today, like, and I'm used to it. You know, people are supposed to be jolly and happy uh, around Christmas. And no, they're not. They're in their feelings. They're all, you know, agitated and aggravated. And the stores that I've been in are understandably packed. Um, I still haven't eaten, so I'm kind of in twilight zone here. But I'm still very aware of all the ugliness that's going around. You guys, people suck. I see. I have seen some of the nastiest people out here um i'm gonna tell y'all the story of one lady with the shopping bag um that i just encountered at ross i've been to burlington i went to ross i initially went to dillard's because i had it in my head that i wanted to get my mommy these outstanding little outfits and then i'm like girl your mama is casual and if your mama finds out you're spending this kind of money on these brands she ain't gonna have it i am my mother's daughter right so as much as you want to splurge on your mommy because she's your mommy, if it's not her style, it's not her style. And I knew that it wasn't going to work. So I'm like, well, let me go on ahead and go to Burlington. Let me go on ahead and go to Ross. Let me go on ahead and go to Kohl's and JCPenney because I can find really cute things there for her usually. So I went to Kohl's and I couldn't find her size. She's petite. She's hard to fit. So I went to JCPenney. Same thing. Uh, and then I couldn't find anything casual enough. My mom is in her 70s she goes to the doctor and hangs out at home she likes comfy loungy things so it wouldn't make any sense to get her anything too dressy so i'm like girl stop trying to bougie your mom up so i went to burlington found some cute things i went to ross was i just at ross yeah i was just at ross and that's where i saw a lady she just turned my stomach like i was like i need to get out of here and then as i'm trying to finish up in there another lady walks by cussing out her kid and I'm just like oh yeah it's time to go so I had a chance to like woosa out standing in the line super long line but I'm done I'm over it um the food I'm gonna wait till closer to Christmas to get with the exception of the tamales which I'm about to tear into I'm not even kidding I'm gonna tear into one of the dozen because I still have not eaten that little pineapple drink did not do its thing. So yeah, I'm about to pull into the parking lot. I need to go to Dollar Tree. Um, I'm gonna go into um, Aldi for some ground beef and canned tomatoes because I told y'all I want chili. I don't know how many tamales I'm gonna dig into. I may not even have an appetite for chili, but I can make it for later. 
uh, later. It's already late. Um, and then I'm going to walk across to Fashion TV Outlet because I forgot how cute their clothes are. And I just want to sneak a peek -a in there for my mom because I do know they have really cute, casual, little loungy things. So that's where I'm headed now. And these tamales got my whole car smelling like a slaughterhouse. The combination of an open pineapple can drink. And the pork from tamales got my car smelling super foul. And I am very particular, very sensitive to smell. Do y'all know this about me? I think y'all do. If y'all are on Facebook, y'all know. But, anywho, let me get my butt into this last little shopping center. And I am done for now. I think I have everybody covered. Even little dude got a little something extra. <sighs> I know he's growing up and he's not asking for any toys in particular, but God darn it, I saw something that I think we'd have fun with. So I'm, I, th I think I'm done. I think I have everybody covered uh, except for the last few little whatnots, like I said, with the food. But I'm over it. I'm ready to be home um, and just watch movies or something. So see y'all in a little bit. Okay, guys, I parked in between the Dollar Tree, the Aldi, and the TV Fashion Outlet. But right now, I am about to have me a tamale because your girl is feeling real funny. And tamales in a car is not a good idea, but I'm Mexican, so I always have napkins up in this piece. So I'm gonna chow down on a tamale. Let me tell y'all this story, because I don't think I'm gonna do a haul because my sister sometimes watches um, my videos and she likes to always be surprised as to what I get everybody and I got my brother and my mom stuff of course so uh, I can't do a haul but let me tell you all this story so I'm at Ross right look at these fat tamales I'm at Ross come around the corner there's a hello guys it's Monday um my battery died outside of Dollar Tree yesterday as I was sucking down a tamal. Um, so I didn't get to tell you guys the story. And then I got home and I started making chili. And then I started wrapping presents. And then before I knew it, it was 12.30 and I had to carry myself to bed. But I'm here to tell you guys the story of what I witnessed at um, Ross yesterday. It just totally, totally ticked me off. So I noticed this lady squatting down on the ground and she keeps looking in a children's place bag and while she's doing that she's kind of touching things on the shelf and looking at things on the shelf and i'm thinking "Ooh, she's about to shoplift she's gonna put stuff in her bag uh, and she was taking too long for me to look at the stuff above her that i actually wanted to look at so i went around the corner to the shelf next to her the shelves next to her um and while i'm over there i hear this lady in spanish going off on her husband and her little boy and she's telling the husband why would you even hand it to him you know how he is we're not going to find it anymore i can't believe you two she's just going off on these two um and i'm just looking at things the next thing i hear is the voice of a of a girl a youngish sounding girl talking to somebody next to me so i kind of peek through the shelves because i'm nosy like that and it's about a 12 or 13 year old talking to the lady with the with the children's place bag and she's like mom that's their bag that's the bag they're looking for so i'm like what what's going on here so i start listening to the mom the angry mom and yeah the angry mom is yelling at the dad talking about why would you let him hold the bag you know how he is we're never gonna find it we wasted all that money for nothing so i look over in between the shelves to the lady sure enough she has the children's place bag and the daughter says mom that's their bag they're looking for that bag and the mom stands up and you know mothers know when you talk to your kids with their teeth like that that's how she tells this girl in spanish and it sounds so much nastier in spanish shut your dang mouth and the girl is like mm, why mom that's the bag they're looking for it they're right there they're looking for it and the mom is mad staring down this girl and i'm watching she's staring down the girl with her teeth all ground together talking about shut the f up now in spanish okay shut your mfing mouth she's like trying to stay quiet she's grinding her teeth and i'm like oh my gosh am i really witnessing this so i'm i'm stupefied right so i'm like let me go see what's really going on so i walk my way up towards the the, the mom who's upset that they lost the bag i'm like let me see if this is really what's happening and it really was happening the family's in the front upset 
the daughter's over here telling the mom that's the bag they're looking for. The mom is all upset because she done found herself a bag full of children's clothing that apparently she don't want to let go of. So I'm like kind of watching back and forth and I look over to the lady with the bag and that little girl snatches that bag out of her mom's hand and walks over and gives the bag to the family who was looking for it. And the lady was so happy and so grateful for it. And it, it made me sick because here's a mother you guys a mother mad at her daughter because her daughter wants her to give back items that she found that now need to go to the rightful owner the rightful owner is looking for them like i'm like i can't believe i just witnessed what i witnessed and then the sad thing is, is i thought about it later is that lady and that family probably thought that it was such a wonderful turn of events that there's good in the world and that they got their their paid for items back and true enough the young girl was good in doing it but they have no idea what that little girl had to go through to get her bag back to the lady i'm just i was disgusted i'm like this is a whole grown woman a mother you guys mad at their daughter acting like that like a thirsty starving thief it was very 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 disturbing but that was the story that i was trying to tell y'all while i was eating uh and then after i ate goodness gracious truck after i ate i did go into the dollar tree oh and our dollar tree i had heard it was gonna happen but i wasn't sure our dollar tree is now officially pricing everything at a dollar 25. i was totally upset i wasn't expecting it because i'm trying to like watch my pennies now because your girl went a little uh crazy shopping uh, but I did go ahead and get my little packaging things, my bags and stuff like that. But yeah, everything rang up $1.25. So that was a little disconcerting. I like that word. Have I told you guys that I like that word? I like that word, disconcerting. But it is what it is. And uh, yeah, I tried to come on this morning, but it was too dark on my way out here to visit with you guys on my way in. But that's the gist of it all. If you'll hear a jingle bell, somebody gave me a gift basket full of cookies and stuff. I'm taking it home. Um, Y'all might hear a jingle bell. But anywho, speaking of work, today I thought was going to be the same old garbage that it usually is. And it wasn't. Um, I want to talk to you guys about what's going on at work, but I am actively looking for work right now. And I don't know if these new people go onto your social media. I know all they need is your email and they can pull me up on my email on everywhere. Uh, so I don't want to... Um, poo poo any opportunities i have had some interview opportunities that have gone well but i think it's because the end of the year one was going really really well until the my salary requirements were mentioned and then they were paying two dollars less than what i'm currently making and it was five minutes further out so i'm like no thank you another one also went really well and they were going to put in my information to the um hr department who actually calls for uh interviews I haven't interviewed in so long, guys. Now there's people who come on and uh, do screenings, like a screening interview before an interview. It's all new and modern. And then uh, another one reached out and basically said the same thing. We, we feel that you uh, have all the qualifications. And this, was, this has all been happening since December 7th. So my goal was to try and be somewhere new by the new year. Uh, but because of holidays and all, I'm thinking maybe that's some of the delay in people getting back to me. Or maybe there's just a lot of people applying. But the comfort that I have is that they like what they hear. So that's that. I do want to get into a little bit more uh, about why I've been so particularly stressed at work. But like I said, I'm not sure what I can divulge. Maybe you guys know if there are any HR people out there. Do people go out onto your social media and be nosy about it? I've heard things, but I'm not sure. But I'm about to go pick up my little dude. He is officially on Christmas break. I'm going to go pick him up at my mommy's. Um, I still have to um, pick up a few little things. Stocking stuffers. I don't want to pick up stocking stuffers with him because it's his stocking that's going to be stuffed. Um, but I might hit a thrift store if he wants to go to. If he wants to go to. If he wants to go. So we'll see. Well, I just got off the phone with the little dude. I was going to stop off at Goodwill. Um, he hasn't been wanting to go to Goodwill because they changed the layout up and they removed a lot of stuff that he likes to look at. So I was like, 
I'm going to go to Goodwill. But then I'm like, no, you know, let me call him and see if he wants to go to the Red Junk Store or to Thrift Town. Uh, and he said he wants to go to the Orange, which is Thrift Town. So I'm going to go scoop up my fellow thrifter. And we're going to go scour the shelves at Thrift Town. But I don't know what my memory's doing. So in case I don't get to add any thrifty goodness onto this video i just wanted to tell you guys i hope you guys had a good monday i hope you guys have a good week if you guys are going to have a short week a long week a whole week i'm not sure but i hope you guys are doing good and i'm going to work my tail off to get back on your comments i'm thinking about doing a video reading y'all's comments and responding to your comments i did that once and i think a lot of you guys liked it i don't know i'm just trying to switch up things a little that's why this video is just me in the car kind of vlogging just to see what different feels like but until my next go around i love you guys so so much i love y'all bunches bye so we made it to thrift town and i realized my purse wasn't in the car and realized i'd left it at work so we had to drive all the way back to work and all the way back home and i am here now reheating leftover chili picked him up nuggets because it's 8 15 and your girl ain't cooking dinner this late i don't know how the heck i forgot my purse but little dude did get to meet the doctor who drives me nuts and gets all the patients to yell at me mind you he's a very sweet man and a wonderful doctor but he is absent-minded and won't sign so yeah little dude apparently has been eavesdropping on conversations me and his auntie have been having because he, he he did ask is that the one that drives you crazy mm -hmm. and then as we were walking in the snake y'all have heard me talk about the snake attempted to make chit chat with my kiddo and i made the excuse that i had to hurry up and get in to find my purse stand behind me satan okay you are not going to put your wickedness anywhere near my baby ain't gonna happen but real quick while i'm here look this is the only non-boring thing that i picked up at dollar tree yesterday hold on let me flip you guys over they're these adorable little stockings in little shark form i thought they were the cutest stinking things the boys don't need them but oh my gosh are you stinking kidding me how cute i think i'm gonna give my sister and my mom one just fill them up with um yum yums for them but now that's everything so sweet dreams good night and again i love y'all bunches